So, for folks who are not around for this, I recently had an idea for a new speedrun category for Dark Souls. We ran it. I got myself a world record since no one had ever run it before. And that was pretty exciting. Um, Alice then immediately beat my world record. Very proud of her, very proud of the community. But of course, now I have to take it back. So, this category is called Dark Souls Good Ending, or Good Ending Percent. I haven't decided yet. The goal of this run is to, as quickly as possible, get to the boss, Great Wolf Sif, let him kill us, as is his right and his sacred duty, and then uninstall Dark Souls. Time starts when I hit OK, and it ends when I click uninstall. So here we go. Let's do let's do a prediction. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's do a prediction. Um so I set a world record of I believe 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Um Alice's record is now 9 minutes and 54 seconds. Will I get a world record in the first 3 attempts? Yeah. Nor I want to do a jump there to save a couple frames. I picked the wrong starting class. What? Oh, that's terrible Sif RNG. Get me. Baby. Please kill me. Please kill me. Please. What are you doing? Hit me with your sword, you giant dog! What are you doing? Oh my god! What the f That was insane! That was horrible! That was horrible! Alright, this is the big one. This is attempt number three. Three, two, one, go! Okay, I'm gonna... Apologies to all, I'm not gonna look at chat. So I'm going for, at the very least, a genuine PB on this run. And so I am... Contrary to how I almost always behave on this channel, I am going to focus. Welcome. I just looked at the chat. I'm just so used to looking at the chat at all times. Oh, I got greedy. It's going so well. Oh, thanks, darling. Thank you. Oh, I genuinely wasn't sure if that last hammer, uh, that last, uh, what do you call it? The firebomb would hit him all the way up there. If I'd known it was going to, I could have done a little better there. All right, hi, Roger. I think, I think the answer is just let Roger go through first. Like, I think... Oh, I don't know if that would have hit me. Pillar. Right, so 
so Asylum Demon fight is still sloppy, but I think that might have been a little faster. Go, 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 thank you. I know I say this all the time, but I hate your stamina bar will almost get you all the way up this hill at a sprint, but not quite. I suppose, for safety, I should send the elevator back up. Can I get all four? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm legitimately, like, very nervous about Derek. I need to remember to turn the brightness back up after my next run. Or before my next run, rather. Oh my god, gamer posture. Maybe that's why my back hurt, because I was crouched over during those speedruns on Monday. That's probably not it, but it probably didn't help. Okay, it's always a little tough to figure out how to manage my stamina for Derek, because I need a full run going in before he even, like, triggers. Oh, he's gonna go. Yep. I saw that he was gonna go right, so I had to go left. Okay. So that was a little bit of a naughty Derek, but I did see his, uh, his tell. So I was able to adjust on the fly. So that's good. Um, okay. So it's here. Run, we're gonna go. Hopefully we get the same Timothy luck we did last time. Timothy was so nice to us last time. Also a slightly cleaner out of the elevator, which is nice. Hi, Seashell. Mama's doing a stupid self-imposed challenge run. Yo! I think that might actually have been even better. I think he did the attack that landed him. I mean, not that it really matters, but that attack, I think, lands him on the next level down, which means that he'll be way further behind us, so... Not that he would ever catch us, but now he's absolutely not catching us. I ran out of stamina there, because I was trying to see the road. Hello, twinkly boy. We don't need you for this run. Uh, so I'm doing a run that I made up earlier this week called Good Ending Percent, where the purpose of the run is to get to the boss Great Wolf Sif, who's a very good dog, doing a very good dog thing, and what the very good dog thing he's doing is, is killing anyone who tries to f*** with his master's grave. We're trying to f*** with his master's grave. So the good ending is the one where he kills us and we uninstall the game and never try again. So that's the run. It's very silly. But I, it is a, it's like a pretty fun run, actually. Oh god. Yeah, having low brightness here is, is an issue. Okay. Come on. Come on. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? Okay, pretty good, pretty, pretty quick do. Okay, that's a split. We now have the one item we need for this run. That was too close for my liking. This guy is waiting for us. hard to see where I'm going. I really f myself with the brightness here. Luckily that guy's an idiot. 
All of these tree fuckers are pretty stupid. Which is not to say they still can't get you. Ooh, that guy did a weird little... I got jiggy with it for a second there. You guys like my contemporary references? Posture. Okay, just have to avoid the gang squad here. Keep an eye on my stamina. Helps us out there. Oh, don't, I don't like hearing someone cast a spell. I don't. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Hi, mushrooms. Hello. I love you. Run is now valid. We're on good pace here, as long as Sif doesn't screw me over. I need you to be a good dog and kill me quickly. Fantastic. Good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog. Time, time, <laughs> woo, nine, ten. Yo, that was a good f***ing run! <laughs> Guys, sub 9 is possible. Sub 9 is so doable. Uh, if I get a, if uh, with a perfect Asylum Demon fight, and a slightly, and a fast, and a, a first try dupe. And I did fumble a couple of inputs. Sub nine is absolutely doable. Now, we're not quite done with Dark Souls yet tonight. I am reinstalling it. I will tell you for why. As you may have noticed, in that run, we do an item duplication glitch to get the 20,000 souls we need to buy the key that opens the door. There is a way to go around the door, but it's very slow and dangerous. It's like extremely dangerous and very slow. So that's why we use the glitch. The other night, we did talk about good ending percent glitchless. And I did spend a lot of time the last 24 hours thinking about how to do that. The thing is, in order to do it glitchless, you need to get 20,000 souls. What we need is the Crest of Artorias. So we need to give Andre 20,000 souls in order to get it. Is one way to do it. The other way to get the Crest of Artorias is to kill Andre the Blacksmith. So... Gag. Three, two, one, go. God, I'm so sad. 
I mean, judging by his health bar, Andre definitely is killable. Like, we have enough stuff to do it. Um... I need to take all bonfires here. Like, actually f fully sit at them. No! I turned too soon! Oh, I had the f***ing perfect fight. But I got cocky and I turned too soon. Hi, Crane. We're just playing a wee bit of Dark Souls. Not too much. All right, come on, Roger. Come on. Okay. We all have places to be today. Okay. We're just doing a little bit of Dark Souls speedrunning. Before we move on. Right. Crane, how is working out? Whoops. It is so easy to run into that pillar. Thanks, Crane. Our first attempt was a huge failure. It was honestly a staggering failure. A disaster of humiliating proportions. Oh, nice crane. That's great. That is always so good to hear. Alright. Oh, wait. Let's go get the firebombs. Especially because we're down one fire, one black firebomb because of my humiliating asylum demon gaff. Whoops. I try not to fight it. Describe it. All right. It's just a habit, my heart rate starts to flat do, do, do. And I think I'm good with five Uh, okay, I have to remember I should have done it on this elevator I have to remember on the next elevator To set firebombs to my belt Which is such a fun sentence, honestly The next time I'm in an elevator I really should set some uh, some firebombs to my belt. Anyway, see so you Tuesday for the for the meeting, for the thing. Did I get the soul last time I was here? I think I might have got it on autopilot, but we don't need it. What we do need are skills. Like that's the thing. Is doing this glitch list means I actually have to be good at Dark Souls, which like, eh, you know, eh, uh, sort of. Okay, Derek, here we go. Yeah. See, I tried to hug the left side and he still went right. Luckily this time I saw it. I need to panic like last time. How's everyone doing out there? Ooh, what the f is wrong with me? The elevator's already here. Wow, I got so used to failing. Uh, I am going to take this bonfire for safety. This ensures that we never, on this run, no matter what happens, no more Derek. This is a one Derek run. 
one DN. Oh god. That's okay. That's the worst possible Timothy. It's okay. God, what a dick. What a fucking dick. And he's fucking coming for my ass. Haven't you done enough, Timothy? Sell Black Knight. S whoops. Well, that's one more Black Fire Bomber down. I don't know if we're going to get a clean run tonight, you guys. I'm not, not feeling tremendously optimistic. We're going to try it. You know, as I was thinking about this yesterday, I'm like, okay. How am I going to kill Andre? Because at this point, all I have in terms of weaponry is a broken sword. Um, because this game is made by jokesters who like to make their little jokes. And I was like, well, I suppose I could, in theory, still try and get the Black Knight Halberd. But one, the normal, like, glitch run, in order to get the Black Knight Halberd to drop more reliably, duplicates humanity, which we can't do if we're glitchless. Okay. And also, without soul duping, whoops, I would never be able to equip it. Oh, it's because there's dialogue happening. That's why I couldn't throw it. Because you can't throw it during dialogue. That's annoying. Wait. I thought maybe I could cheese him. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, I don't think that healing is going to happen for me here. No, I'm trying to get out the door. Oh. Will he not leave? Yo, wait, this is the strat, you guys. This is the fucking strat. Oh my God. He won't leave the little room. Okay. This run just got f***ing viable. Or this category, I mean. Whoops! That's fine. That's fine. That is totally fine. Wow! Andre Cheese! not need to get our souls. Normally that guy doesn't do that. Why haven't I named that dude? Oh, that's true. I stand by that quote. Guys, what should we name the big honkin' titanite demon? The guy who just murdered me with his tail. Normally, when it comes to naming NPCs, it just sort of comes to me. I'm get it. George. He does seem like a George, doesn't he? <laughs> Lemmy. Both good. So. Rachel. Technically, there's already a hollow named Rachel. I don't usually, like, call to her by name. Um, but if I'm, if I'm being honest, one of the hollows in Undead Asylum is named Rachel. This is not, this is not a joke. 
Okay, that up. Say hi to the mushroom people. This run might be glitchless, but it is not shroomless. Um, I wish I'd taken a little bit. It's a shame. I wish I had a little more damage on me. You know what? This is not an optimized run. It's fine. Rachel, the other one. I'm gonna call him George. I like George. So, yeah, this is gonna end up being not that much slower. Still gonna take two attacks, unfortunately. Swing your sword, please. Thank you. Good boy. All right. Now for the menuing. <laughs> Rachel Jr. RJ. Uh, 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 and time. Wow, it ends with so little fanfare. There's no, like... We did it! It ends with just clicking on install. Well, world record, though. Good ending glitchless.